Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Davis is coming down to the ring, and you can tell with that zip in his step that he plans on this one being a spectacular evening for him. He's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Right. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Fires right back at him. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go Thunder's again. making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him was something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed the taller fighter to come in and be short. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. And he just holds on there. This has been stunned. Hey, keep fighting. Let's go. Stunned, but all of a sudden now surviving. Get in there. Get in there. Thunder's well off the mark that time. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? We've talked about this time and time again. When you get these two mentalities squaring off against each other, it should be a brawl. Yeah, the old times would say about these guys, they get insulted if you miss them. <laughs> Tried the hook, didn't get it. Davis is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Keep moving, gotta be, see those come in. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Right to the head with that right. And he engages in the clinch. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect this round comes to an end a round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches didn't land a lot of punches 
I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Keep on him. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Thunder's <clears throat> movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Good way to protect the midsection. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Not able to land the headshot. And he clinches yet again. Halfway through this round here. Thunder's left now getting into the mix. Parries that punch away. Well, nowadays we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now with all the super and Jude Davis is rocked, and both men are damaged in this round. Wild stuff. Thunders hurt by a superb hook to the head. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Davis is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Nice block. Body shot. Final 10 seconds. Side to side, move your head side to side. Come on now. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Can you believe that? If there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. Now listen, you threw a white punch, and he caught you. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Davis is proving to be elusive. Focus! You're not focusing! Able to place the right hand in there. 
Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work Where's rate here. Thunder's punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. Uppercut! His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Now he's telling us everything you need to know about what his condition is. We saw him stunned earlier in this fight. Now the clinching. Yeah, this is a true polygraph test for a fighter. He's telling you the truth. I don't feel right. It's up to his opponent now to take advantage of that. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. You got these one. And just grabbing on to his opponent. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Davis is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. <laughs> he tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Look at that! Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Davis is still in a tough Keep spot moving. here. Don't Keep get moving. fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. You're okay. You're okay. This is a wipeout. You are winning this fight. You keep doing what you're doing, and you got this in the bag. Just keep doing exactly what you do. Beautiful, beautiful, nice movement there. Keep. Round number four underway, and I think these first three rounds, as he's up three to zip on your scorecard, have given us a glimpse of the hard work he put in in training camp. Yeah, especially to that body. You could see that that was part of the fight plan and he's really acting on it. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Relax, relax. Good job protecting himself. Davis is on the heels of that knockdown he suffered, and right now, he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's looking to clinch, he's looking to clutch, he's looking to hug the guy. You know, he's looking to make sure that he's still here when this bell rings. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. <laughs> Missed that uppercut. Move your head. Levante la cabeza. Back to the body. How about that left hand? Keep going. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Punch, punch. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, God. That 
That was a fine block by Davis. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep your hands up. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Finish with the hook. Got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. And you count down the final moments of this round. Thunders giving his on the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. You are okay. Now keep your hands up. Keep them up. He caught you with your hands down. Go out and get him. Go out and fight this guy. Take it to this guy. You have to go and get this guy. Throw, throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Davis's punch didn't come close. Uh, you can just tell that he's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. Solid shot. The left hand came in. Stay with him. Big shot there. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big Gilbert. shot. Gilbert. Now he's got to have some big guts to move him. Big, big shot he just scored with. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Stopping this fight, Thunders gun down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Davis's power turns things around. He goes from trailing on your scorecard to winning by knockout. That's what's great about this sport, and that's why people always come out to watch it, because you can make everything right in the world, or at least that night you can make everything right in the ring. He made it right. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.